G'day everyone, my name is David Meyer and welcome back to First Time Reefer TV. Sorry? I don't speak Chinese. I don't speak Chinese. G'day everyone, my name is David Meyer and welcome back to First Time Reefer TV and today my friends we are in sunny, hot, humid Singapore and as always while I'm traveling around the countries that I do I always try and find the local aquarium at least one store um, that I can uh, share with you guys now uh, I went and searched on the web for a few places and all I could find was really just uh, the local fish farms uh, which is probably a little bit more industrial than what I want to show on camera but um, I was actually on Facebook and I came across a post on the Aquaforest page um, about an aquarium in Singapore. What are the chances of that, right? So I have found this little store here. We are gonna go inside. It is called Oceana Reefs with a Z Aquarium. They specialize in only marine, which is fantastic. Um, but it is a very small store. So um, it's gonna be a quick tour. Let's check it out. All right, so my friends, we walk in through the store here. Hi, that is Annie. We'll come back to Annie in one second. Uh, as you walk in through the store here, you are greeted with a really remarkable display tank. Now, I'm actually pretty shattered that I didn't come here a little bit later because um, the, the glare from the windows is actually uh, really sucks to try and shoot on this tank. But um, it is a mixed reef, some really beautiful LPS. You got this lovely Goniopori here that has got some serious polyp extension and just swaying uh, backwards and forwards this Montipora at the back which is the size of like three dinner plates they're absolutely huge some zoa gardens i think this is bird's nest or stylophora i think it's a bird's nest um that's really really huge as well so the colonies in here are absolutely you know massive this guy whatever that is i think that's a, a akan dish he looks like he's just had a feed and he looks fluffy as so we've got the sum system of the main display tank here and it seems to be running with a skims calcium reactor with the CO2 bottle over here. And a bubble magus. Is that a bio pellet reactor out the back there? The What's the one at the back? Yes. No, it's the, uh, yeah, it's the uh, Roa, Roa. Uh, Rolfos? Yeah, Rolfos. So GFO? For control the biofo. Okay, yep. So you've got a calcium reactor, GFO reactor, a massive beast of a skimmer from mm -hmm. skims. I think that runs two separate pumps um, and that's a unit. They've got a nitrate reactor here which runs this product called NitroGuard BioCubes Titanium. The world's first solid carbon media that is completely resistant to Redfield's ratio. Okay. So that's a product from Orca. So they run that inside the reactor. You've got some uh, marine pure cubes out the back there. Um, as well as a K1 media reactor. So the, the whole idea that this media turns and it flicks the bacteria off and it forces uh, new bacteria to grow, uh, which continues to consume the nitrate in the tank. Now, something I've seen probably more so used in freshwater aquariums, uh, but I have always wondered whether it work in salt water. So it seems to uh, be working here as well. Uh, pretty simple setup with the doser. So they've got a four channel doser, uh, running A, B, C, D, which I'm assuming is probably 
a obviously calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, and a coral food of some sort in there. And running a huge, huge stainless steel heater of some sort. I don't even know what brand that is, which is pretty cool. And running just on a J bow pump. So it's a beast of a skimmer, beast of a sump setup for an absolute monstrous tank. As we walk around the store, you're absolutely greeted by that display tank at the front. And then you've got a fish. I believe this is like a quarantine system. Um, either that or these are for fish that they keep themselves personally. Uh, there's not too many fish in there at the moment. Um, this store is a very, very young store. So they haven't been around for that long. I think just under a year. We'll speak to Annie soon. Um, so, you know, they're still finding their way, but the LPS tanks are absolutely remarkable. Running uh, max spec uh, LED lights, um, as well as some of the Orfex as well. You see over on this tank here, they're running the Orfex light bars, uh, which is something I've seen recently in Australia, uh, which they do put out a pretty nice spread of blues across the tanks. So, um, you've got a couple of racks down the center of the store here. They've turned most of the flow off for me, which is really kind of them. So um, all the corals are, are uh, nice and extended, which is great. Um, not a huge range of corals, I'll be honest. Um, but for a store that's very young, they said they had a big weekend. Um, I've come here on a Monday um, and a lot of their stock has uh, been sold over the weekend. But uh, the way they display their stock is absolutely beautiful as well. So rather than having just frag racks in the tank, they've actually got all their rock work stacked up like this with their A-cans and their LPS stacked over the top. Um, as you would uh, essentially a shallow display, a uh, shallow reef tank. Um, so you can just, you know, everything is on frag plugs already. You can pick out what you want and buy it. So the, the system seems to be pumping up to the top uh, from here, if you can see that. Uh, and then it goes down and overflow, catches into a filter sock. And then I'll ask to have a look at the sump system. So these are the sump systems underneath their coral systems. Uh, they're running two skimmers and I'm assuming two skimmers just because they're two smaller ones. Uh, this tank is also running the uh, Nitro Guard that we just saw before and a heap and a heap of Marine Pure uh, slabs, which is the four inch blocks for their nitrate reduction. But uh, they don't seem to have an issue of phosphate in this tank. Um, so it's a pretty bare bones and all the coral systems run the same. Really, really shallow tanks. Um, and absolutely pristine as well. Super, super clean. There's no question about that. But I do love the way that their uh, coral are displayed, which I think looks pretty cool. So uh, even though there is rock work, the base of the tanks are absolutely clean. Um, but these two tanks over here, which is linked by something I haven't seen before. This seems to be like a bridge of some sort to connect the two tanks, uh, which is probably trickling from this tank down to this tank. Um, instead of having one long tank. I should ask why they didn't just do one long tank. Um, but some beautiful corals in here as well. I did see that they had some uh, jawbreaker morphs uh, on their Facebook page, but unfortunately they were sold yesterday. Um, plenty of Australian corals representing here as well. So you got some, uh, some dishes, some beautiful Scalimia Australias. Um, and some pretty cool Monty Caps along the back wall there, just growing and encrusting onto the back wall on frag plugs, I think they're glued onto. Um, and then probably my favorite fish in the store are this pair of the uh, Storms, Black Storms that they've got here. These retail for approximately $500 Singapore, uh, which is a little bit more Australian, but I think they're still a little bit cheaper than home. The red line cleaner shrimp that you guys saw in the tank just back there before, you won't believe that they are about $18 over here compared to our $150 to $170 back home. But this pair here of clowns is probably my dream pair of clowns that I want to own one day if I can ever get my hands onto it and afford it. Um, I reckon Black Storm's so gorgeous, man. So hopefully one day I can get my hands onto a pair of those. Um, but that's a really, really simple um, uh, LPS uh, reef. Beautiful Zoa garden over on the side here that's just starting to grow out. Now do keep in mind this store is only a year old. Um, so a lot of their tanks are still 
a lot of their tanks are still growing in um, and, and maturing. Um, but even though they are very young systems, you can see they are absolutely spotless. A beautiful Achilles tank up here, blood red uh, cleaner shrimp, which I was told was about $25. Um, I think back home they're in excess of $200, which is pretty crazy. Um, but a pretty healthy Achilles tang, he's been eating heaps and grazing about. Um, I think a power brown tang out the back there, I believe. I'm not entirely sure, I'm not that great with my tangs to be honest, but um, there is a beautiful rose bubble tip over here with a, with a big clown in it. These are their frag displays, um, all lit up with max spec lights as well. Some beautiful rhodactus in here. Which I've taken, a, uh, I've taken some video, as you can see, with a, a, a lens filter on there, which um, filters out this incredible blue that they've got going on. But really, really nice frag tank. And plenty of frags, but they did say a lot of them have been sold over the weekend. Um, all right, so back to this beautiful face. Now, products-wise, they haven't got a lot because uh, they seem to be concentrating more on corals. Uh, at the moment, but you've got your run of the mill, your Sally Fur test kits, uh, your filter socks, uh, a huge range of products from Maxspect over here. So the distributor must be uh, quite big over here. There's gyres, there's lights, um, as well as their uh, nanospheres. I, I think I'm pretty sure I saw their return pumps around somewhere. Um, a small range of skimmers, probably nothing crazy like we've got back home. Um, but I think the hobby here is probably a little bit smaller than what it is back home in Australia. Um, but they've got access to some absolutely beautiful corals. Um, if you have a look at their Facebook page, Oceana Reefs with a Z, um, have a look at the pictures that they put up and they've got some incredible, incredible corals that come through. I've just timed it pretty poorly coming in today after, having, uh, after them having such a big weekend. So we'll turn around now. And say hello to Annie. Hi Annie. Hi. So please tell us about your store. Firstly, where are you located address wise? Oh, okay. Uh, we are in Singapore. Yep. Address is at 181 Upper Paya Lebar Road. Amazing. So if any of you guys want to come here and visit, shoot them a message. That's the address. Now Annie, you are one of the owners? Partners. One yeah. of the partners. Fantastic. Tell us a little bit about your background and how you started this aquarium. Okay. Me and my partners, uh, we're actually engineers. Uh, we do engineering work and um, along with it we have this reefing hobbies and it started about three years ago. It started with two five foot tanks and then it goes it starts to grow and overwhelming us. Yeah. As such we are so stuck into this hobby that we decided that we should probably turn our hobby into something that could generate some income for our retirements. Beautiful. While we are still working uh, with our day job, we are hoping that this will generate some income for us and yeah. by the grace of God, for almost a year, we are coming to almost a year old, this place, with all these tanks, this setup and all this taking care of the babies. Yeah. They are really babies that we are taking care of them now. Um, they have brought us pretty good income, Amazing. pretty supportive and we have very good customers that comes along and keeps coming back. Amazing. Yeah. So, so you guys are actually still working full time as engineers as well as running a store. That's, That's right. crazy. Our That's store. why your hours are one till ten p.m. Yes. Right? Yeah. Amazing. We're working in the morning. Yeah. Just as, as if working full time wasn't hard enough. You thought you just make it a little bit more difficult by opening an aquarium. Well, as I said, it's a retirement, so we have to plan for it. Fantastic. Yeah. That's great. So, thank you so much for having thank me in you. your store. I'm just going to turn this around. Yeah, thank you so much for having me in your store. Uh, probably, uh, I mean, like I said, a lot of the stores that I did find online were just fish farms, whereas this is more like your traditional store, which is fantastic. A beautiful range of corals, which is good. Uh, but thank you for having me. I look forward to coming back again soon and hopefully yes. seeing some more corals in here. Yes. I'd love to watch this store um, evolve as well. So thank you. now to sign out, I've got a specific way to say goodbye, and it starts by saying one, two, three, and you go peace with two fingers like that. So do you think you can sign up with me? Okay. Amazing. So until next time, guys, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, show some love to Oceana Reefs Thank on you. their Facebook page, and yeah. see you next time. One, two, three.
Peace. Peace. Amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you.